Hi friends, welcome to my studio. Today I'm gonna to teach you how to make a simple hostess gift with ingredients that you probably already have in your kitchen. This is one of my favorite recipes for a sugar scrub. So we're gonna start with two small sprigs of rosemary. The stems are a bit harder and we don't want those in our sugar scrub. So we're just gonna pick all the little green parts off. These smell so good. This is a great recipe to make in the summer because I always have an overabundance of rosemary in my herb garden that I don't know what to do with. So the best part about this sugar scrub is it lasts for a really long time. You can keep it in an airtight container and it'll last for several months. Once we have all the greens off the stems, we're just going to finely chop these. Now, because this does go into the sink to wash your hands, you want to make sure that your rosemary is really finely chopped. Your rosemary, once finely chopped, should equal about a tablespoon. Next up is your sugar. It really doesn't matter what kind of sugar you use. You can use white, cheap, granulated sugar, or you can use more of a raw sugar. Either way, both of them work. I tend to use the granulated sugar just because it is inexpensive and it still works just as well. The ratio is very simple. It is one cup of sugar, to a quarter cup of oil. And it doesn't have to be exact. Once we have our sugar in the bowl, we're gonna add a quarter cup of oil. Now, the oil that you use can vary. I've tried it a few different ways. I definitely have a favorite. I've made it before using jojoba oil, which is really great for your skin. But the thing about jojoba oil is it stays liquid at room temperature. So the sugar scrub doesn't wind up quite as creamy as if you use coconut oil. So coconut oil is definitely my favorite to use for a sugar scrub. What you're going to do is take your jar of coconut oil and put it in the microwave. Now your time will vary depending on the strength of your microwave and the size of your jar. Of course you remove the lid and it took about a minute to get it completely liquefied. You can feel it's still pretty warm. You don't wanna overheat your oil. Coconut oil has a very low melting point, so it really should only take 30 seconds to a minute to liquefy your oil. So once we have our sugar, we're gonna add a quarter cup of our liquid coconut oil. A quarter cup is about the equivalent of four US tablespoons. Once we have our coconut oil in with our sugar, we're just going to go ahead and mix it. As the coconut oil continues to cool, it's going to become a little bit more creamy and solid. The nice part about using coconut oil is also that it doesn't distort the color of your sugar scrub. If you were to use an olive oil, it would give it a slight green tint. The jojoba oil does have a little bit of a yellow tint to it. So the coconut oil keeps everything nice and white and bright. Now that I've got my oil, I'm gonna go ahead and add my rosemary and it already smells fantastic, but to up it even more, we're gonna add some essential oil. There are a lot of different varieties of oil that you can use, but by far my favorite combination is bergamot, cedarwood, and just a hint of vanilla. For a batch this size, you're going to add between 20 and 25 drops of oil total. I save all of my jelly jars because these make really great containers for sugar scrub. Today I'm gonna use a lidded jar that I found at the thrift store. I actually paid $1.69 for this at the St. Vincent de Paul. The only thing is if you put it in a container like this that isn't airtight, it's not going to last as long. The fragrance will eventually dissipate, but for something that you use frequently, this works great. If you're giving it as a gift, you're better off to put it in a mason jar or seal it up in an old jelly jar. All right, and there you have it. A simple sugar scrub that can be used as a hostess gift or for party favors. It's really one of my favorite easy DIYs. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and subscribe for more DIY content. And until next time, stay curious and stay creative. Thank you.